How's it going everybody? Matt Erico back with a first look at Doomsday Clock. Now we went over this, uh, Mike Tyson and I did, in episode 2 and we gave it a unanimous crown in uh, that episode's Crown It or Kill It segment. That was the correct decision because I just got done reading this and I'm so excited for this series. It's a 12 issue series starting with this. There's four or five different covers. I of course bought the most expensive one which is Rorschach. And as you can see, at first you see a uh, normal Rorschach mask, and then it changes to one where you can see the Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman logos. Now, I think that just based on the cover alone, it kind of confirms what we were saying in Episode 2, that it is going to be sort of a prequel to the entire DC Universe, um, that somehow the events at the end of the original Watchmen create this DC Universe. Um, you know, you see a couple of familiar faces in this, um, in this first issue. Uh, I'm not going to say exactly who, I don't want to ruin that for anybody who's going to go ahead and read it, but there is something strange going on. I mean, obviously Rorschach is a part, but there's something odd about uh, Rorschach. You know, it's going to be interesting how that turns out. Uh, the story takes place in the early 90s, obviously after the events of the uh, final issue of Watchmen. And I just, I don't know, I'm really excited. The art's a little bit different as well, just to give you a heads up. The color schemes have changed. It's a little more modern looking in terms of how um, how it's drawn and inked and all of that. But I, I'm really excited. So far, so good. Um, and then the other thing, as you can see, we do have our pop toys. So we will be giving the details out on this giveaway very soon. Anyways, if you like what we're doing here at Portal, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, you know, we're trying to expand what we're doing as much as possible and trying to bring you the best of uh, what we can make. So take it easy, guys.